hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so I'd like to wish you all a very very happy new year I hope you had a lovely evening last night um, we popped down to the beach um, to watch the fireworks but um, it was a little bit loud because we did take Jessie with us um, and the fireworks were so so close because they were right down on the beach um, and they weren't far away and I knew it was going to be too loud for her so we just walked up to the top of the road and watched from there because um, you know the fireworks were right literally on the beach and you can just stand right there so um, you could feel it do you know what I mean so bless her but she was really really good um, she's quite deaf so she she's, didn't really bother her too much but I knew that um, it would be a little bit too loud anyway because you can actually feel it through your body can't you when you have fireworks but we had a lovely lovely evening it was beautiful and the weather was fantastic so I hope you all have a, had a lovely lovely evening as well so what we are going to start with today um, is making a very very simple journal now yesterday I did do a video where we prepped everything um, we did some recycling from Amazon packaging um, which was the little envelopes and also the actual packaging that things get wrapped up in which I stuck together and we made some pages like this now today I've already prepped some as well so I'm going to show you how to do that just super simple um, and then again I'm going to be using one of these I have actually got this one which I have cut just down the side um, because I don't want such a big spine now this is quite a big spine um, it's about four centimeters um, I believe what did we do yeah about four centimeters which is roughly one and a half centimeter one and a half inches now that's a bit too big for our first journal now I know lots of you are going to join me doing this um, and I want to make it as simple as possible because lots of you have said that you've not made a journal before so what I have done I have just cut it down the middle so when we pop them together we are going to stick those they're going to overlap and then we just get a smaller spine so we are going to do just one signature okay and then that will just sit in there and then we can pop all sorts of bits on our pages and it's not going to give us a great big um, fat journal we're going to have a few pages so it's a nice simple one to fill so what I'm going to do first I'm going to just show you how I just did the pages now like I said we did these yesterday um, I'm going to take one of my templates like this that I've already done and I'm going to pop it inside so if you've made all these already this is how you do it just pop one inside so you get the right um, size of it like that you can take that out and then I'm just going to pop this one on top like this take something get a pen or something but i'm just going to mark it off like that with my ball tool get one of your cut it with scissors or i'm just going to get my um, guillotine and we are just going to just chop that down so it's the right length now i'm going to throw this piece away because i don't need that um, let's have a look that's okay let's try and keep ourselves tidy this year now and you can just cut that down all right so on some of them I have cut them down but you can also use that extra little bit instead of sort of like cutting it off and throwing it away bend it backwards or you can also bend it in on itself and then what we're going to do we will either sew or we will stick down and then we've got ourselves a little tuck spot on one of the pages so that's as simple as it gets so just fold them over and we're done so I have got a few extra pages there which I don't need so I'm just going to pop those to the side I'm not actually going to do the pages today I'm just going to make the um, cover um, and then we can do the pages tomorrow so I'll just show you actually I have got I folded up four of them that's all so we have four pages um, so that you know four on each side so we've got eight pages and then so that makes 16 sides so that's all we've got to do I don't want to overwhelm you on making a great big journal so we've just got to decorate 16 pages so that's super simple and we'll do that tomorrow so I'm going to pop those to the side I'm going to take this one which I've already cut 
like that. So we've got a nice thin spine like that. Okay, so all we're going to do now is glue this on top of that one. Now if you wanted a big spine and you wanted to do more signatures, go ahead. Josh, I mean, you don't have to cut this. You can do as many signatures as you like. But to start off with, I think it's probably best just to do the one. Um, especially if you haven't made one before. And it's nice to have. Um, if you're doing a smaller one, it's easier to finish. It's not so overwhelming. We're going to use, I've got tacky glue in here. So I'm just popping some tacky glue down this edge like this. And then we are just going to stick this under there and this one over the top. So really quite simple. Okay. Whoops. Get the glue out of the way. Let's just turn this over nice and straight. Look at that. So we will leave that just to dry for a minute. So there we go. That's our spine. Really, really simple. Now, if you don't have any Amazon packaging, use cereal boxes and just cut this to size. Now, this one is about 15 centimeters or six inches um, by, this is just slightly over eight and a half inches, which is nearly 22 centimeters. Okay, and then the little spine that we've got, we said what was about two centimeters or about three quarters of an inch. Okay, so that's, if you're gonna cut it from a um, cereal box, that's the size you would like. Or you can make it any size. You can make it smaller if you want to. But there we go. I'm gonna actually turn this over because I don't want this lip on the, on the front. I'd like to just have it without, although we're gonna cover it up. Um, so there we go, guys, that is your base. Now, I'm going to pop the lid on my glue, and I'm just going to show you, I'm going to pop these to the side. Now, this is where I need a giant desk. These are the little bits left over that I had from making our little flippy flappy thing the other day, which I love. Um, so, I'm going to use these pieces as well in there. I've got some of these, so I need some book paper today. I'm going to use these bits. So remember, use what you've got. Okay. And then in here, I have, oh, I'm going to show you these. These are the new pages that I've just um, popped into the shop, the new kit. Um, but I've also rummaged around from of my other mixture of kits that I thought would go in. I've got these pieces. I've got some of these. These are just odd ones that I had left over from um, kits that I haven't used. Just I mean, bits that um, pages that I haven't used. And I think they all will work together because we're going to be making like an eclectic -y, shabby sort of journal. Um, so we've got the blue butterfly collection. I've got my collage pages. That's the pink butterfly collection, which I've not used for ages. So all of these have been left. Um, in the files. These are more of my collage pages. That's one from a calendar kit. Um, so just get together all your bits that you think you would like in a journal. This is dragonflies and flowers. So all of these things I think go really really well and that's some of my scrap script ephemera which I love which is beautiful. So they're the sort of things that I want to use. So I'm going to pop those on there. These are the new kits. So let's just show you these. Love these. It's called um, the Collage Scrap Collection, I think. Gosh, I'm not very good, am I? But look at these. They're just beautiful. And I just love like these little scrappy papers because they are so handy um, to do your journals with. Well, not just journals, for backing papers and and pages and things like that I just think they are lovely loving them so I will be using these as well I think that one's upside down that goes that way got these love the colors really nice colors oh these are from 
These are the Kofi ones. These are your Kofi monthly ones, guys. So you get four of those, which are beautiful. And I thought I might use those in there as well. So pop those to the side. So gather all the bits of paper that you've got, all the leftover um, digital kits that you're not going to use or you haven't used, or even magazines. You don't have to have digital kits. You can have magazines. Now, I'm thinking not quite sure but whatever page I'm going to use um, they're not big enough to do the whole thing so I'm just going to do half at a time so I would cut that out and pop that on but the cover is a little bit bigger okay so I would obviously cut the little white line off from where it printed out um, and what I'm going to do for this I'm going to just take some paper, doesn't matter which what you've got, and I'm going to just decoupage the edge like this. I'm going to pop these around the edge so then it doesn't matter what you've got. And I think this would look really nice, wouldn't it? So let's just go over. It can go over however you like, and then we've got like this on the edge. And I just think that will look really, really nice. So that is what I am going to be doing. I'm going to do it with glue stick. And I will probably sew around it as well. Um, but again, you don't have to sew. If you don't have a sewing machine, it's not a big deal. You just stick it on. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave it. So just get your glue glue stick tacky glue whatever you have get bits of paper and then just stick it around now I know lots of you will have book paper this is why I've chosen book paper now you can this is music paper but again this is this is book paper just take pieces like this we'll stick one side first and then we'll stick the other side like this Pop that over and we can just stick these on. Let's just turn this over and do this side as well because we will be doing the inside obviously. <coughs> Excuse me, am I in my throat? There we go. Perfect. Can you see where we're getting? And I just think this will look really, really nice. So let's just pop some glue on there. Take that little bit off. We can always patch it up in different places afterwards, like the corners. Stick that on. Put that down. Go over it with a little bit of glue as well. So this is very exciting, but I think it's quite a nice one to start off your journey of journaling for the new year of making a journal should I say let's just stick these on nice and simple so you might have been able to pick up some nice old books from your um, local thrift store or charity shop um, this holiday and you can use those or use all your little scraps you've got. Again, you can use scrap paper. I mean scrap paper. I mean scrap like digital papers and things like that. But I think this is going to look really good. I'm not going to do the spine bit because once I've sewn it in, I think we're going to cover the spine up afterwards. So I'm going to leave this plain, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to sort of like decorate that bit. I'm just going to, um, I'm trying to think of a way of doing it that's the easiest um, and it's not too um, difficult. And I think just decoupaging bits and pieces across here is going to be quite simple. Don't I mean, you might be a, like doing um, collagey bits or, you know, 
mixed media and things like that so you might have some mixed media paper you can pop on the outside um, Josh I mean all your nice little bits that you've done doesn't matter what you've got just pop whatever you have on the outside I think that will go it's not quite big enough is it Okay, lovely. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit for you um, so you can see it doing so it doesn't take so long. Okay, so there we go. Love it. You can go through these little bits, stick a few bits down like that. Fabulous. Now it's going to go this way. Look at that. Love it. Easy peasy. Now we've got a little bit missing there, so I just need to add just a little bit just to this corner, I think. Pop that on. Oops. Let's stick on. Didn't stick on very well, did it? There we go. So nice and super simple to start with. Let's pop that and fold that over. So that is just covering the edge. Now another way you could do that, if you didn't want to stick things around there, you could just sort of like even paint the edge. Um, I'm just trying to think of different ways that you could do it that's quite simple but I thought just sort of like decoupaging around there with a little bit of book paper is really really simple now what we need to do let me just pop the lid on this look at this messy glue stick I've got we need to pick a something for the front now I quite like this one um, but again I'm going to pick these out because these are obviously this is my new kit these are from old bits now I was also thinking of popping one of these on the front as well so let's pop those to the side decisions on picking what you want on the front loving all of these I do love these this is a touch of lace so I forget, I do forget what I have in my stash and what I haven't. So I really, really do need to start sorting my papers out. I might put that on the inside page. Let's pop that to the side. I think I'll have to have two because I'm not sure it's going to be big enough. So what shall we have? What shall I put on the front? Oh, decisions. I think, what should we do? Should we pop this one? Oh, I think I'm going to go for my new one. Should we just go for the new one? These are going to go inside. I think I'll put that on there and then I'm going to pop one of these little cards on there as well, I think. See, too much paper and too many things makes you just dis your decisions a lot harder doesn't it so this one i'm going to pop on the front so let's just cut the little white bits off first just around the edge now my computer whatever my printer whatever i do it will not give me a um a full page it won't print a full page my other printer did Oh no, this one did in the beginning, and then for some reason, the um, the printer things changed. They upgraded, and it stopped working. So that wasn't very clever, was it? So what I'm going to do, just going to mark off sort of here. I don't think is that the middle. Oh, I think it might. Oh, I could actually do it down the middle, couldn't I? I didn't think it would work like that, but I think it probably will. Let's just try, shall we? Let's 
just cut these little bits off. So the reason I didn't cut these off before is because I want to show you exactly how I do it. Okay, so, oh look at that, that's lovely isn't it? So that would sit on there like that. And I want something down the spine, so it might be like a little bit of fabric or something like that um, after we have actually sewn in the signature. Now, doesn't that look lovely? I think that looks really nice. So that's what we're going to do. So I don't need to put anything down this side. Now, again, if you don't want to use fabric down the side, cover this with, with your um, book paper or something like that if you wanted to. I want to just, once I've sewn in the signature, I want to cover that up. And I want to this year, I think, make the spines of my journals a little bit prettier. Because obviously they sit on your shelf. Um, and that's what you see. Unless you um, sell them or give them away. Um, but it's nice to have a pretty bit, isn't it? And this one can go this side. Shall I do that or shall I just have a completely different piece of paper? See, we're going for a little bit of eclectic. Maybe I'll have... Maybe I'll have this. I think I might. That's what I will do. I'm going to cut this. Let's just fold this in half, mark it off and then cut down here because my guillotine is not um, big enough to cut the A4 the other way. Oops. that on the inside if we need to can't we look at that fabulous now shall I ink round the edges where's my little there we go I'm going to just ink round these edges now again if you are a sewer you've got sewing machine you can sew around these edges well, I'm just going to ink around because we want to try and do this really as basic as possible but with a nice bit of impact don't we so let's just use a little bit of our lovely ink my definite go-to ink this is I've tried lots of inks this is the distress vintage photo I'll pop a link down below under the vid video um, and of course my lovely adorbers which are fab so lovely look at that perfect shall we ink around the edge of the journal page as well do you think on the actual cover So we can get the cover made today and then that's a good start isn't it and then tomorrow we will have a go at doing the pages inside now I will probably cut the pages to size ready um, and just have it a little bit more organized just so that you can see it a little bit quicker so you don't want you don't need to see me cutting pages um, because that's a little bit boring isn't it we like to have everything ready to make look at that love it love 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 now what I'm going to do I am going to ink around this bit just like that just so we've got a little bit of grunginess now I'm not worried about these bits sort of like flapping around because nothing's perfect and I think it looks makes it look good um, nice and shabby and messy 
because we are doing an eclectic one. We want it to look nice and nice and handmade without being looking handmade. Do you know what I mean? Did you get some of these dubbers for Christmas? Did Santa bring you any? Um, because they are fabulous. Such, they are one of my favourites, I think, for inking. Because they are so, so simple to use. You don't get ink all over your fingers. Um, and I think they're great. Right. What does that look like? I can't really see it from the inside. Right, I'm going to quickly speed this up so you don't see me inking it. Okay guys, so that's the inking done. We can always go back later and add a little bit more. So this is going to be stuck on there. Super simple, isn't it? Look at that. I think that looks fabulous, doesn't it? So what shall we use? Shall I just use, I think I'm just going to use a little bit of my um, tacky glue. So we'll just use a little bit of tacky glue on here. Make sure you go right to the edges. Okay. Now, if you've got a bigger bottle, obviously a bigger bottle would be better than a little one like this for bigger things to glue. But this tacky glue is fantastic. It sticks really, really well. But again, you can always use um, glue stick if that's all you've got, or you can use double-sided tape, whatever you have. Because it's sort of paper to paper, um, it's fine to use um, glue stick as well on here. So try and get there as level as possible. But again, not important because if it's your first journal, don't worry about mistakes or it looking funny because can always hide little mistakes on things by covering them up with a little bow or something like that now look at that fabulous so that's our front cover oh, love it lovely lovely let's do this let's just stick this a little bit down a minute there we go a little bit of glue and we need to find something to pop on the inside as well which I think I might use that daisy. Not used to sleeves. There we go. Right down the edges. So if you're a card maker, you're probably like using um, double sided tape, don't you? Because when I make cards, I really do prefer to use double-sided tape than a liquid glue. Because um, I think it holds it better. Just so it doesn't warp your paper. Okay, let's pop this one on like that. Perfect, I think that's level. Do you go a bit higher? There we go. Look at that. Don't they look lovely? Now I'm just going to use my little um, tool just to make sure this is nice and stuck and flat. Look, and it oozes out some of the glue. So you know it's nice and flat. Look at that. Perfect. So there we go, guys. Look at that. That is our front and our back. Look at the state of my fingers. It's the um, book paper, isn't it? Now, we need to do the inside, don't we? Let's pop those on there. Let's just stick this down a little bit better. Now, we've got a couple of options here because we can just stick some paper on or we can actually pop some pockets on here. You can put some fabric on here um, and I think 
I think what we'll do, I think we'll just stick to the basics, shall we? And then through the year, we can actually do different ones because I want to do lots of different ones. We can actually sort of like get a little bit more advanced on making them, can't we? I love it. Simple, simple, isn't it? Now, what do we do with these? Shall we have the little one? I do like that. That's lovely, isn't it? I'm going to go for the little one, I think. And again, I'll do the same. I will fold that in half because we know that half will go in there. Okay, lovely. Let's pop these little bits out of the way. Oops, upside down. Let's do it like this. Shall I ink these around the edge? Does it go this way? I'm really not sure how which way this paper goes. I don't think it really, really matters, does it? Okay, let's just quickly zoom through this, just while I ink around the edges. Okay, perfect, lovely. Are they the right way round? Oh, let's have them both. I'm going to do them both the same. I'm not going to do different back and forth. Um, front. I quite like this as an inside cover look. Um, so let's just pop some glue on here. And then we are pretty much done for the cover for now. So if you guys are following along, um, we can get this done and then it will be sort of like dry for tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? So a little bit, bit, little bit harder because the glue would have dried and everything. And then we can add some other bits to it. Well, actually, I might do the front. Actually, let's just wait. Let's just see first. We'll have a look and see if I want to do the front bit. Oh, I don't know. I don't know whether this is up the right way or not. Not that it really matters, does it? Just make sure that you pop it so we can fold it here and it's not right on there. I will cover this up with a little bit of fabric as well. I'll have to do, actually we'll have to do that before we sew in the signature on this side. Okay, look at that. I think that looks lovely. I think this looks really nice as an indoor, indoor, inside cover bit, doesn't it? Actually, perfect, sort of pretty, lovely. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? <gasps> Love it. So that's our first bit. Make sure that's stuck down properly. So, beautiful. Let's pop our lid on there. Now, I was going to use, wasn't I? Where's our... I was going to use a little one of these just to make a little pocket or something or add a little extra to the front. Where's my scissors? Where's my scissors? I quite like this one. This is with a touch of lace, these little journal cards. I'm going to cut it just a little bit bigger. Now I quite like, as you know, just making it up as I go along, I'm not planning too much. Some things I like to sort of plan, but other things 
um, I like to just make up as I go along. Now I quite like that on there. So yes, let me just cut this out. Shall we use this as a pocket? I could actually use one of the little bits of stuff that I did yesterday with the um, papers. Let's have a look. Where are they? These. These are the extra little bits that I did, weren't they? And these, look how hard that's gone now. That's too big. Let's see if we've got a bit of a smaller one. Oh, well, I have to cut these down. I'm going to have to cut it down. Let's use this one because this one's quite hard. If we stick that on, then we've got like a lovely little pocket which we could pop something into then. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to ink around the edge. Just, just, I like inking around the edges because it really gives you that vintagey look, doesn't it? Josh, I mean, it just, um, like I always say, when you ink things and you don't see the white edges, it really makes a, a piece of your work look a little bit more finished. I'm going to stick that on there. Shall I? i tell you what I could do with this, is add a little bit of book paper. So it goes with this bit, couldn't I? And then we could leave like an edging around it. I'm going to just cut this down, I think. Yes, I'm going to just cut this like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Put that down. And what I'm going to do, where's our book paper gone? Go a little bit here. I think I might do the same with this. Just so we've got some. What did I use? Glue stick, didn't I? Let's just glue this. I think that would look really nice. So this will go on, where's my little piece? That's going to sit on there, but this is quite sticky. Oh, was that a blob of glue? Oh gosh, we don't want that stuck everywhere, do we? Look at that, I just think that would look really, really lovely. Maybe we could use one of these lovely little bows. Remember our little bows that we made? Look at these, that's lovely, isn't it? Okay, I think that's what we'll do. That can go on there. Okay, sorry, I had to change my battery. All that talking I've been doing. Hey, so let's just glue this little bit down. But what I think, like I just said, I'm going to just leave this to dry because it is a little bit tacky and I want that to be a little bit harder as well. Shall I pop a little bit of... Um, I'll stick that on there, look. So things don't get caught. I think I'm going to just stick this on here like this so it doesn't get sticky. Let's pop that on. Lovely. Which is the top? Is that the top? Perfect. Look at that. Leave that to dry. Pop that on there. Now, I might leave that as well to decorate tomorrow because I might get a little bit of my lace out, like I said, and just tuck something maybe underneath there. And I'm going to pop that on the front, and then we've got a lovely little pocket in there um, to pop some little bits and bobs in haven't we and maybe we can pop some sort of like find something that we can um, do the spine with as well so there we go guys that is our lovely lovely cover 
for our journal it looks beautiful I am absolutely loving it so again go around and find if you don't have any digital paper you can use magazine paper you can use some of your um, Christmas wrapping paper if you've got some or if you, it's been your birthday or you've you've saved up some beautiful paper from wrapping papers use that you don't have to use digital papers you can use whatever you like you can use packaging if you don't have any Amazon packaging you can use cereal boxes or food boxes and again you can make them any size you want to make them um, they are really quite simple to do and it's not as daunting um, just take it a little you know step by step and you'll be there be your first journal hopefully it'll be your first journal of 2024 so there we go guys we will finish this off tomorrow we will get the pages done um maybe two maybe three videos um i don't want to rush it i want you to be able to enjoy doing your first journal if it's your first journal um and i want you to be able to sort of like you know just not stress just do it um and it's fun it really is fun so there we go guys I will get myself ready I'm gonna get I've got the papers here there are pages um, I'm gonna cut some papers to size because I'm gonna actually just stick the papers onto here okay and I might actually ink around the edges of these first so you don't you know see me doing it you don't need to see me ink around the edges um, and I will try and get the, the papers cut ready so we can just sort of like stick them in um, so it's super quick and easy um, and again if you get your pages made you can always um, cut them ready and we can stick them in together so there we go guys I will be using the pages that I showed you maybe some from my new kit I'm not sure I will be using these pieces which um, I have already cut out anyway um, because we don't want those to go to waste and there we go so that's our lovely start of our journal so there we go guys well thank you so so much for joining me you have a fantastic fantastic rest of the day um i expect you might probably still be on holiday and um, whether you have tomorrow off as well i don't know um, but enjoy it if you do so thank you so much for joining me please take care stay safe and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.